Hello everyone, this is Teacher Juvie and I will be your guide for today's lesson. Let us discuss finding the area of irregular figures made up of squares and rectangles and triangles, parallelograms and trapezoids. Look at the figures below. The figure is a square and the measurement of its sides is 8 cm. So to find the area of the square, we are going to use the formula A equals S times S. Then we will substitute the given sides to the formula A equals 8 cm times 8 cm. So yun yung ating substituted value for S. Then, by just multiplying the sides, 8 cm multiplied by 8 cm, we will get the area of this square that is 64 square centimeter. So, sa pagsulat ng inyong final answer again, don't forget to put square centimeter. Or, pwede rin namang isulat nyo siya ng centimeter square. So, any of the two is acceptable. The next figure is a rectangle. So, yung rectangle may measurement ng length na 15 meters and yung kanyang width naman is 6 meters. So, to find the area of rectangle, we're going to use this formula A equals L times W. Then, substitute natin yung mga given values sa ating formula A equals 15 meters times 6 meters. Then, multiply the two dimensions and we will get the area of 90 square meters. Next, we have a triangle. So, ang triangle na to ay may base measurement na 10 meters at ang kanyang height ay 5 meters. So, to find the area of this triangle, all we have to do is to multiply the base and the height and divide it by 2. Okay, so i-substitute natin yung given na base and height, which is 10 meters times 5 meters. Then, i-divide natin siya sa 2. So, the answer now is 10 times 5 is 50. Then, get the 1 half or yung i-divide natin yung 50 sa 2. And, we will get the area of this triangle that is 25 square meters. Okay, so let's proceed with this figure. So, alam nyo ba kung anong tawag sa polygon na ito? Naalala nyo pa ba? Okay, so this figure is a trapezoid. So, ang trapezoid, natandaan nyo, meron siyang dalawang base. So, meron tayong base 1 that measures 5 meters. At ang kanyang base 2 naman measures 6 meters. Bakit dalawa yung base niya? Kasi kung papansin ninyo yung sukat ng kanyang base, magkaiba, ba? So, B1 and B2. Then, meron siyang height na 6 meters. So, to find the area of the tra trapezoid, so, we will use the formula A equals base 1 plus base 2. Multiply natin sa height, then divide it by 2. So, kung napapansin nyo, same siya ng uh, formula ng triangle. Pero, ang kaibahan lang dito, dalawa yung base na ating pinagsama. Ay sa triangle, isa lang naman yung base. Okay, then substitute the given values to the formula. So, ang ating base 1 is 5 meters plus 6 meters na, ang ating, na ating base 2. Then, i-multiply natin sa kanyang height na 6 meters. Then, after nyan, di-divide natin siya sa 2. So, the answer is, when we add 5 meters plus 6 meters, that is 11 meters. Then, multiply natin sa 6 meters, that is 66 meters, then divide it by 2. So, we will get the area of 33 square meters. Okay, so let's proceed on finding the area of the parallelogram. So, the parallelogram is somehow similar sa area ng uh, rectangle. So, ang gagawin lang natin is we will just multiply the base and the height. Kung sa rectangle, ang kanyang dimensions ay length and width, dito naman, ang dimensions ng parallelogram is yung base and height. Okay, so, we will use the formula A equals P times H. Yun lang. 
So, A plus, ang base natin is 10 meters. I-multiply natin sa height na 4 meters. And we will get the area which is 40 square meters. So, let's solve this problem. Andrew and his sister Anne made a vegetable garden as shown below. So, we're going to find the area of their garden. So, ito yung itsura ng kanya, kanilang garden. Okay, so let us answer the following questions. Whose garden is it? So, syempre, ang garden na yon is Andrew and Anne's garden. So, what can you say about the shape of their garden? So, ang shape ng kanilang garden is irregular. So, how will you find the area of irregular figures made up of squares and rectangles using square centimeter and square meters? So, let us find the area of that irregular figure. To solve the problem, we're going to use two solutions. So, let's first discuss the first solution. So, solution number one. So, from this figure or irregular shape, hatiin natin yung figure na to into uh, two rectangles. So, this will be the part A or rectangle A and this will be rectangle B. Since may nabuo tayong dalawang rectangle, so we're going to find the area of the first rectangle na ating nabuo. So, from this figure, ang magiging length ng ating, or we will use first this formula, of finding the area of rectangle, which is A plus L times W. So, from this figure, dito sa ating, focus lang kayo sa ating A, ang kanyang length ay 5 meters, hindi 8 meters, kasi yung 8 meters, yun yung kabuuan ng haba ng irregular shape. Pero since, etong part lang naman na to ang ating kukunin, Therefore, 5 meters ang kanyang length at ang kanyang width naman is 3 meters. So, dito kayo titingin sa right side. So, yun yung isa-substitute natin sa ating formula. So, A equals ang length ay 5 meters multiplied by the width which is 3 meters. So, we will get the area of 15 square meters. So, nakuha na natin yung area ng ating first rectangle. So, let's proceed on the area of rectangle B. So, yung area ng ating rectangle B, again, we will use the formula A equals L times W. Ang length ng ating rectangle B is 3 meters. So, yun yung haba niya. And ang kanyang width naman is 6 meters. So, dito kayo titingin sa left side. Kasi yun yung part ng rectangle B. So, just multiply the two dimensions. So, we will get the area of rectangle B that is 18 square meters. So, paano natin makukuha yung kabuang area ng irregular shape na to? So, after getting the area of two rectangles, we can now add the two areas. So, yung area 1, add natin sa area 2. So, yung area 1 na nakuha natin kanina is 15 square meters. Then, add natin sa 18 square meters. So, the total area of this irregular shape is 33 square meters. And that is the area of the vegetable garden of Andrew and Anne. Okay, so... Using this figure again, so for solution number 2, i-divide natin ang figure na to dito sa part na to. So, ano yung figures na ating nabuo? So, we have formed a square and a rectangle, di ba? So, kunin muna natin yung ating area ng square na nabuo natin. So, again, the formula in finding the area of the square is multiply side by side. So, ang given sides dito ay 3, me 3 meters, hindi 5 meters ha, 3 meters times 3 meters. So, yun yung side ng square natin. So, when we multiply 3 by 3, that is 9 square meters. Then, after nyan, we can now proceed on the area of our part B which is a rectangle. So, ang area natin sa pagkuha, or ang formula natin sa pagkuha ng rectangle is length times width. 
Okay, so ang ating length na dito is 8 meters, di ba? Nakita nyo, ito yung kabuang length ng ating rectangle. Then, ang kanyang width is 3 meters. So, 8 times 3, that is 24 square meters. So, yung, yun yung area ng ating rectangle. Okay, after getting the area of square and rectangle, anong next natin gagawin? Okay, so we're going to add the area of two figures. So, yung area 1 natin, add natin sa area 2. Yung area 1 natin, ang nakuha natin area is 9 square meters. Add natin sa 24 square meters. And the total area of this irregular shape or irregular figure is 33 square meters meters, which is also the same with our solution number 1. So, we can use two solutions. So, depende yon sa paghahati nyo kung saan nyo siya uh, gustong i-divide yung figure. Pero, make sure na kapag nag-divide kayo ng figure, may mabubuo kayong polygon, like uh, square, rectangle, parallelogram, or triangle. So, yun yung para, para mabilis nating ma-solve yung area. Then, after natin makuha yung mga areas ng ating mga nabuong figure or polygon, so, pagsasamahin lang natin siya to get the total area of the irregular figure. So, let us find the area of irregular figure below. So, we have this figure. So, anong figure? I-analyze nyo muna kung anong figure yung ating nabuo or anong polygon. So, pag dinivide natin siya sa 2, makakabuo tayo na ang dalawang figure which is a square and a rectangle. So, similar din siya ng ating sinolve kanina. So, first is you're going to find the area of the square muna. So, A is equals to S times S. So, ang given sides dito ay 6 meters. So, A is, uh, 6 times 6, that is 36 square meters. Then after nyan, get the area of the second figure, which is a rectangle. So, again, pag rectangle, use the formula A equals L times W. So, ang length natin dito is 9 meters multiplied by our width, which is 2 meters. So, A equals 18 square meters. So, since we get the two area, so, i-add ya lang natin yung dalawang area to find the total area of this irregular figure. So, 36 square meters plus 18 square meters, that is equal to 54 square meters. And that is the total area of this irregular figure. Okay, next figure. Oh, so, this is a trapezoid. So, hindi siya irregular. So, kasi trapezoid siya. So, yung trapezoid, i-apply lang natin yung formula na diniscuss kanina. So, to get the area of the trapezoid, all we have to do is to add the two bases. So, base 1 plus base 2, then multiply by the height and divide it by 2. So, given ang ating base 1, which is 10 meters plus 15 meters, multiplied by 6 meters, divided by 2. Constant yung 2. Ibig sabihin, hindi nyo yung pwedeng palitan. Okay? So, A equals... So, 10 plus 15, that is 25 meters. Then, multiplied by 6 meters and divided by 2. So, the answer is 150 meters over 2. So, get the 1 half of 150. So, the obtained area for this trapezoid is 75 square meters. Okay, next figure Okay, so tingnan nyo uli kung anong figure yung ating nabuo. So, from this figure, uh, the two figures formed is a square and a rectangle. Okay, so first step, find the area of a square. So, A is equals to S times S. Then, substitute the given values to the formula. A equals 3 meters times 3 meters. And we will get the area of the square, which is 9 square meters. The next step is get the area of the rectangle. So, the area or the formula in getting the area of the rectangle is length times width. So, ang length natin is 3 meters multiplied by the width that is 9 meters. And we will get the area that which is 27 square meters. Then, after natin makuha yung dalawang area, add lang natin sila. 9 square meters plus 27 square meters. And the total area for this irregular figure is 36 square meters. 
Okay, next figure is a triangle. So, an alalahanin nyo kung ano ba ang formula to find the area of the triangle. So, we will use the formula base times height divided by 2. A equals, substitute the given values to the formula. So, our base is 15 cm multiplied by 10 cm, then divide the product by 2. So, that is 150 cm over 2. So, the answer is 75 square centimeters. So, that is the area of this triangle. So, we have to remember the following in order for us to find the area of irregular figures. So, first, divide or cut the ir irregular figure into squares and rectangles. So, yun nga, ikakat muna natin siya. So, make sure na meron tayong mapupong square or rectangle dun sa ating kinat na figure. Then, second is we're going to find the area of the squares and rectangles. So, kahit ano dun ang mauna, basta kunin nyo yung area ng dalawang figures. Then, after nun, ia-add natin yung area ng squares and rectangles to find the area of the irregular figure. So, yun, i-add natin yung dalawang nakuha nating area. And the last is express the area in square meters and square centimeters. So, lagi nyong i-express yung area sa square meters and square centimeters. So, kung yun yung given na units. Thanks for watching this video. Hit like if you learned something from this video and don't forget to subscribe on this channel. Thank you so much.